I planted these like two years ago and I've been waiting forever for them to flower. And I think this year they're finally going to bloom. And you get them, it looks like they're ready to pop. Yeah. So we're just waiting for the day when they open up for the first time. We can't wait to meet them. show you a mistake that I think the Coca-Cola company has made, at least as far as we're concerned. It is a, a big mistake. We have bought Dasani water for years and years and years whenever we can get it. Sometimes we'll buy other brands like if we're at a different store, but usually if we can buy the Dasani, we'll buy the Dasani. And I'll tell you why we buy the Dasani. Not only because of the bottle, the bottle is a sturdier, thicker plastic bottle, but also because of this lid. The lid is bigger and it's easier to take off, put on. It, it, it really screws on nicely. Uh, you can make sure that it's on uh, securely and it's thicker. Recently, we bought Dasani. They've changed the lid. They changed the lid to like Aquafina waters and other waters that are out there. So what that means for us is we're no longer buying. If Dasani's cheaper, we'll buy Dasani. But because we were literally buying it because we really like that lid, we will no longer be, uh, we'll probably no longer purchase Dasani because that was the, I know, as silly as that seems, that was the deciding factor. And sometimes that's all it boils down to, you know, is um, something that's convenient or whatever. And so why would we spend more money to buy something when we're not happy with that so i mean we would just be just as happy with the cheaper aquafina so uh, i just wanted to let you all know that if you like the dasani bottles uh, they have changed the lid i got online last night and i found a picture i like this uh, birthday cake <laughs> uh, but then i also found this birthday cake and they're both very pretty um, and I love this one. I think it's it's very um, I think it's feminine and it's just it's just very very pretty But I actually like this one more So what we are doing is we are going to um, Our favorite bakery in Lexington is Mondelli's Bake Shop and so we're on our way there right now and I'm going to take these pictures in and I'm going to see if they can uh, do this cake for Ashley's birthday and ask them how much it'll cost. So um, I have no idea if they'll be able to duplicate this or not. Um, I mean, I know they could, but I don't know how much it would cost too. So, um, so we'll ask, we'll see, uh, but I'll show you, I'll show you, we talk about Mondelli's all the time. Every time we come over here or every time we get a cake, we, um, we say that it's from Mondelli. So I'm sure you all are wondering what it looks like. And it's just a little bakery on, on the outside of a, um, a group of uh, stores. 
I think there was a Dollar Tree in the area, and um, I don't even know Taco what else. Tico. Taco Tico's in the parking lot, but it's just a small bakery. I think but it's a Dollar Tree. Uh, yeah. Gas station. There's all kinds of little things in there. Yeah, but it's it's they just they do a really good job baking cakes and they've been around for years and years and years and they have other desserts as well uh they have pedophores and um donuts and cream horns and all all those kinds of things so um, um i'm gonna find out that i wanted to show you the picture though because um in a couple weeks we'll be picking this up. I think it's like two weeks out from now is Ashley's birthday. And um, hopefully they'll keep the picture if they're able to do this one. And then we'll be able to compare the cake to the picture. So this is Mondelli's. <coughs> and like I said, it's just in this little like strip of shops. And uh, there's also a Walgreens there, which I didn't even realize. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's just this little bake shop right here. So we went in Mondelli's. I didn't even ask to film in there because they were out of a lot of stuff. It's actually 10.30 on Saturday. And if you don't get there really, really early, like right when they open, they sell out of a lot of stuff. So there wasn't a lot to show you or I would have I would have filmed in there. Um, they, they had these uh, cookies, these huge cookies. Uh, uh, sandwich cookies uh, with cream in the middle. They had oatmeal ones with cream in the middle. Um, like peanut butter. And they had one, it's called a flying saucer, and it's like a cookie on the bottom with like um, buttercream on top with like chocolate, and they have like sugar cookies that are decorated. They had a, it sounds like a bunch of stuff, but they were really out of a lot. Yeah, like so, they didn't have any donuts that I saw. No. No, so I'm sure they saw out of those early, but they took the picture. Um, they said it, it'll be like $48 for an eight inch round cake, which is not bad at all for one of these cakes. 48 bucks for a birthday cake. It is worth it because they do such a good job. But now you won't see it until for a couple of weeks. So um, normally my vlogs end on Thursday or Friday. And so we'll be we won't even be picking it up until saturday the 5th so you won't see it until like the next week so you probably won't see it for three weeks um but anyway i did order it they did take the picture they're real good about taking notes and stuff like that so uh so anyway i just wanted to let you know that we were doing that because um I just think it's always fun to order a birthday cake. And honestly, we had not ordered a birthday cake in a long time. It's been a while. Um, it's been, it's been, it's probably been years since we've ordered a birthday cake. So Ashley ordered you one. Ashley ordered me one. And, and then she got you a Mother's Day cake. And too. yeah, but she's really good about going in there. Like today, we went in there and they had four cakes available to buy so like anybody can go in there they make extra cakes yeah they're just and, basic cakes yes and anybody can go in there and buy cakes so like ashley's real good about if she's gonna have dinner or something she'll stop at mondelli's and just pick up a cake and um so but as far as ordering one and making it like special for that person we just hadn't done that in a long time Look at that little dog right there. Look at him. That is a pug. That, that looks just like a pug. Oh Look my, at the I love that. <laughs> That's so cute. That's very cute. It's a fat pug. So we are in Home Goods. Look at the flamingo. Well, I'm looking at that oh, huge yeah. flamingo. My goodness, they have a lot of stuff out for the yard. And, um, well, there's a lot of people down there. They have a lot of concrete stuff this year. Um, oh, is it plastic? Okay. They have a lot of stuff over there. Look, backyard, backyard games. That is why it's on sale for $16. They even have lawn chairs this year. I'm not used to seeing them have so much out for the summer. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh, here's their America Star stuff. So I showed you last week, Ashley and I were in the other Home Goods location. This is the larger Home Goods. And so they they usually do have some different items in here. Um, they have some skinny girl stuff and some different uh, lawn chairs. Those are really cool looking, those wood. And then they have, uh, what is that called, Kevin? They're calling it a bing bag toss. Cornhole, cornhole, yeah. Lots of games. Okay, so if you don't get in the line at Home Goods, you miss all of the stuff. Look how freaking cute. From Germany. Kevin does not like those. Those are so adorable. That looks like they would murder you in your sleep. <laughs> Kevin, let's get these. I don't even know if we're going to have a cookout or not, but those are just cute. Okay, let's see what other stuff. Yeah, look at all these pillows. That's cute. I like the one with the bike. It looks textured. Oh, they've got some cute ones though with dogs. Yeah, it's got like a little frillies on the wheel. How much is that one? $7.99. That's cute. And you like that one? Do no, you I mean, I was just showing you. I don't, I don't care if you get both of those. That's cute. I like the other one you had better. Yeah, I like the you one with the, that? yeah. So you have to know when you get in line that the shopping is not over yet. Cause you still have a lot to look at. And all this food, there's always tons of food up here too. Just left Home Goods, and something dawned on me at the cash register that yeah. had never dawned on me before. And I bet you there's some of you that already know this trick, but uh, this might just—I might be telling you something that just dawned on me. Um, I bought—I um, bought Ashley. Uh, you know where you're going next? Hamburger. Yes. Um, I bought Ashley a birthday gift, and I have it at home for her. And so we got up to the register at Home Goods, and they have some beautiful new bags. You know, like, they, shopping bags. like shopping bags. They always have the reusable bags uh, where you can buy them at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, all those places. Uh, I think every store, Kroger, and uh, Tuesday morning, all those stores, you can go my way. <laughs> yeah, have reusable shopping bags you can buy. Well, if. Um, <laughs> We're, we're listening. We're listening to Hamilton, um, and I love listening to Hamilton any time of day. And it's so funny because Kevin gets these songs stuck in his head. I do. For just, days. just like I do. And it's like you, like you wake up in the middle of the night, and there's Hamilton. <laughs> You're going about your day, and there's Hamilton. Um, anyway, at least it's really good music. Um, but I picked, and I'm not afraid if Ashley hears this. Ashley doesn't watch my vlogs anyway, I don't think. But I picked out a bag, a reusable bag for Ashley uh, because they're only 99 cents. And um, she uses them all the time. She, she is really smart because she lives by herself. She'll keep those reusable bags in the back of her car and when she goes to like grocery shopping at like Kroger when she comes out to her car with Kroger bags she immediately puts the, like 
five Kroger bags in that one shopping bag. So that instead of making trip after trip to the car, she's carrying in one shopping bag. And so she's always done it that way because she lives by herself. And I think that's so smart. Um, so anyway, I told Kevin, uh, we bought her this bag for 99 cents. And I said, you know what we'll do? We'll put her birthday gift that I bought her at, that's at home in this bag. And I said, you know what? That's a good gift for any birthday. Instead of going to the Dollar Tree and spending a dollar on a gift bag, why it's not? Paper, you're yeah, you're gonna throw it away. It's gonna get torn up really easy, whatever. Why not always? I mean, it might, I know for like under the Christmas tree, it might not look as pretty, but why wouldn't you do that? I mean, that's such a great idea. It giving somebody something that they can reuse over and over again. So I'm gonna try to remember this and the next time I wanna buy a gift bag for a present, I'm not going to. I'm gonna buy one of these reusable bags and because that in itself is a gift. I know it's only a dollar, but it still is a gift. What was it that I bought Ashley? It was for Valentine's Day, wasn't it? That I bought her the um, Pioneer Woman bags mm -hmm. in Walmart. I gave her a couple little, she had us over, no, it was Easter. She had us over to her house for Easter dinner. And so I took her some like gifts for that. We are in a place called Carson's and Ashley, this is like Ashley's favorite restaurant. She's in here all the time and she brought us here for the first time for lunch. And so we did this digital menu where you scan it on your phone and uh, then you look at the menu, but this is what it looks like in here. It's really, really nice. And uh, when we order our food, I'll show you what we get. I'm gonna get the same thing that Ashley gets. Kevin and Ashley are talking about what he's gonna order right now. Kevin, what is your meal called? The pork belly burger. Pork belly beer cheeseburger. Pork belly beer cheeseburger. And so there's a lot going on there. And then Ashley and I got the exact same thing. We got the chicken parmesan sandwich with french fries. And it looks wonderful. Okay, Kevin cut his hamburger in half. Go ahead. It's huge. You can tell us what you think after your first bite. Greasy fingers. Good. Messy burger. You like it? Yeah. So Ashley treated Kevin and I. Um, one of the parents as a gift had given Ashley a gift card to go to Carson's, but it's one of Ashley's favorite places and that's why they gave it to her. So Ashley treated us to lunch um, and it was delicious. It was very, very good. It's filling. The fries are seasoned French fries, so they were really nice. Mine was messy. Kevin's was messy, but it was good. But it was good. Yeah. So I you think ours is messy. and you said it, you thought it was kind of spicy, Kevin. It had a little spice to it. Yeah, it wasn't like burn your mouth off, but it was a little, just a touch of spice. So let me just say this though: as good as it was, and I enjoyed it, and I told Ashley I would definitely get it again because I enjoyed it. I like hers that she makes us just as much. And Ashley has actually done a video for YouTube on that exact sandwich where she makes the pesto. She does all of that. So I wish my pesto was more like theirs though. Our but pesto your your pesto is delicious though. But there, you don't think theirs is better? No, I like I, do. I don't. I like yours just. I as think good. mine has a more crumbly texture, and theirs is more soft. Do you think they? Uh, they uh, chop it, yeah. I think instead of using the food processor, I bet they chop it. Whereas I go, and it's done. <laughs> I, I think it depends on how long you put it in the food processor. I if don't you, put it in there very long. I know, I'm saying if you, the longer you leave it, the smoother it's going to get. <laughs> no, but their chunks of basil are bigger. Oh, okay. Well, it uh, we enjoyed it very much, and I thought it was delicious, but it's... <laughs> It's, bless you, it's kind of like Kevin's fried chicken. It's kind of like I love Kevin's fried chicken. I really like Ashley's um, uh, chicken sandwich. I mean, it's really well, good. I learned to make fried chicken from the master. 
yeah it's it's a good chicken sandwich so now we're gonna go to uh, bed bath and beyond um kevin and i have not the okay this is this is not funny but it is funny the last t the comforter we have on our bed right now ashley bought and it was expensive as hell it was it was very expensive ashley do you remember the circumstances under my yeah Leo vomited straight up stomach acid nasty on your bed and i was not about to clean that and up. where why weren't we at home because you were in london that's right and so i took that thing in a ball straight out to the herby kirby and i went and bought you a new one at bed bath and beyond yes and it was expensive yeah, it was very expensive. It was like $300. Yeah, it was about $300, the one we have in our bed now. But that was back in 2019 that Ashley bought that. So, it wouldn't be bad, but Guido laid all over it. And then Chapel, Chapel, we, he used to do this thing. We, we would call it the, his Dracula. <laughs> he, he would stick his claws out and get his claws in there. And he would like creep across the bed and he looked like Dracula. And he would do that all the time because it probably felt good on his claws. And so that bed is just in, it's in rough shape. It, um, it has seen better days. So we're going to go right now to Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, Kevin and I were in here earlier and we already picked out the comforter that we wanted. Uh, we just have to go get it. Is the comforter that we bought and I really like this color we've had this color in the bedroom before but it goes with the wallpaper it goes with the curtains this one that we've had since uh, 2019 it uh, it's really really nice like Ashley said she paid a, a fortune for it but it is it's worn out from the pets so this will look really nice and I will show it to you on the bed once we get it on there. Ashley had a $50 gift card that one of her students had given her. She gave that to us. Plus we used a, Ashley had a 20% coupon on her phone. We only paid like 65 bucks for this, mm -hmm. uh, which is crazy. Um, and then I wanna show you these things really quick. This is Lorac brand. And Ashley told me that she buys these at Sephora and they're really expensive. And so we were in Kohl's and they were on sale. These are mascaras and they were on sale for $9.60 each. So I've never had that brand before, so I bought two of those. And then these e.l.f. kits were on clearance. They were $1.55 each, and I just paid I don't know how much I paid to buy these on Amazon because I couldn't find them anywhere. But what I found out was all the whole beauty counter at Kohl's is on sale right now because they are getting a Sephora. So she said that's why everything is really marked down back there. So they had like lip glosses and stuff like that in this Lorac brand. Um, but it's all marked down because they're trying to get rid of it because they're getting a Sephora. So this is the new comforter set, and it is completely different from the last one we had. It's a little bit wrinkly, but it'll it'll straighten itself out. And the um, it came with three pillows, the comforter, two pillow shams that you see, and then it came with a throw, which we weren't sure that it even came with the throw, but it came with a throw, and it came with these two euro shams, which are more square. Um, so 
uh, we actually had some pillows on the couch uh, before that this would have gone over. I'm going to keep them. I'm not going to use them because we don't have the Euro shams in the picture are like behind the actual pillows that you use. So you'd have the Euro shams in like the very, very back of the bed and then the pillows you use and then the decorative shams and then all these pillows it's a lot of pillows anyway we haven't gotten to the point yet where we use the euro shams but i'm gonna put these two things up because we don't need them but i think that looks really really nice so ashley was here earlier before we went to eat and she brought me some sussies she went to half price books and kevin and i had gone in half price books and we did not see these at all this was in the grocery haul i haven't put it up yet i need to um but so she thought maybe we looked in the wrong spot but i think we looked in the right spot because we were looking exactly where she said i just think it had been a month and we just had we they got them in you know half price books gets new things in all the time so if you buy these books on amazon they are five dollars a piece so i was like well i'm just not gonna buy them so like i have a lot of the sweet valley twins books i'll miss a lot of that story because i'm not gonna spend five dollars a book these were a dollar fifty each at half price books so she got me um, number 25 number 14 and i'm keeping a sheet uh, cheat sheet this is number 13 in my purse so i'm going to write these down add these to my list number 32 this is a super edition so it doesn't have a number and then this is number 26 which sounds scary i mean look at that and then number 29 and then she brought me she said that she does not use lotion at all uh, but i will use all of these and i smelled this and it smells so good it's chestnut and argan and it is bath and body works and i can't believe she's getting rid of it because it smells wonderful um but then she's given me some this is drunk elephant which if you all know drunk elephant you know it's very very expensive stuff this is to take your uh remove your makeup this she bought at walgreens this l'oreal revita lift and it is um uh, sunscreen like cold cream but she said they wouldn't take it back she tried to take that back and this l'oreal and they they wouldn't let her return it um and then these are masks which i will not keep i will pass these along to someone else uh but i'll give the other stuff a try for sure I am finally getting to look at the mail today, and I had some people to thank. First, I want to thank Ruth very much, Ruth in Canada, uh, for your sweet card. This is a sympathy card for Chapel, our cat who passed away. So thank you so much for thinking of us. And then Jennifer in Wisconsin uh, told me that she ordered me this uh, tasty no-bake. Uh, this is a Choco Mocha no bake dessert kit so i can't wait to make that and it says all you need is a butter and two cups of milk so doesn't sound hard at all and it looks like it makes uh these bars which look really tasty and then alicia alicia sent me this book and she said that she had this book growing up in the uk this is the church mice at christmas and it was actually written in 1980 and um, <clears throat> the copyright first published in the UK in 1980 the church mice at Christmas and I have never out of all the books that I've checked out from the library at Christmas and all the books that I own at Christmas I can safely say I have never seen this one before so I don't want to look too far in it because I haven't read it yet but I cannot wait I love books I love Christmas books, and um, I always love getting to read a book that I've never even seen before. Earlier in the video, you saw us, um, oh, you saw me, I showed you we received a tasty dessert kit in the mail. I am assuming that that is what, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, oh, and it's, it's gotten squashed. It's gotten squashed. It's not. Well, they I mean, did ship it in a pattern. They envelope. shipped it in the, Okay, so Jennifer ordered these for us, and so we received one. The funny thing was, I didn't show it earlier in the video. It came in a huge box. It was. It was a huge. It was a huge Walmart. Nice, it could have held ten. It of those. Oh, easily held ten, if not more. <laughs> came in a huge box for one of these kits. 
So this one comes in a padded envelope by itself. This is the confetti, and these are no-bake dessert kits, and Jennifer saw these, and she wanted us to make them, and so she ordered them for us. So thank you very, very much, Jennifer. So we, we've it's, seen two. If you've got more, we're, I think we're she just okay. ordered two. But I think it's weird that one came in a box, all by some, and then this one came in a pad of hey, one. But thank you. Um, this should be fun to make. It looks like um, they're they're just bars. Um, Include sprinkles, filling, and crust mix. So what we need, we need butter, one and a half cups of cold milk, and sugar. Okay, and I know for the other one, it took like two cups of cold milk too. So uh, we'll have to make sure we have enough for those. Thank you. This box is from Sarah, from Sarah in California. I know one thing in here is some C's chocolate because Sarah told me that they have been closed for the longest time. For the longest, it's empty. <laughs> ah! um, it's been closed for the longest time because of COVID and they've been really, really funny in California about opening things back up. They've been real strict. So C's Candies just opened back up and Sarah said to celebrate, she made a trip to C's. So, C's Candy Caramel Apple Scotch Mallow. That sounds wonderful. I was gonna say something smells like coffee. It's this. Oh my gosh. C's 100 Years Chocolate Coffee Beans Limited Time Sweets. Roasted coffee beans in dark chocolate. I've never seen those. But I tell you what, you can you sure smell, smell them. These are my very favorite um, thing that C's has. These are the awesome peanut brittle bars, buttery, crunchy, peanut brittle, covered in milk chocolate. And what's crazy about these is they're only 150 calories. So we have reviewed these before and Sarah just sent these to me out of the goodness of her heart because she knows I like them. It is shocking. I'll show you what these look like in case you didn't see the review. Um, I'm not going to open the bar. I'll show you the, the, how big the package is. It is so hard to believe that you get a whole bar for 150 calories because I know it looks small. I know it does, but it packs a punch of flavor. It's so much to chew because it is a brittle bar. And the, the flavor is just incredible. So I love these. Thank you very, very much. Uh, so that's something I get to just enjoy. Now this was a, uh, well I don't even know if you want to open it now, but you can, we can tell what's on it. Okay. Uh, there's a limited edition double caramel. There's a dark, dark chocolate peanut butter hearts. And then uh, caramel, it's a maple caramel with roasted almonds. And a peanut crunch, which is crunchy peanut butter with roasted peanuts and peanut brittle. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And then, um, I don't think that was She it. usually circles them. Milk on. raisin. Well, she said that they tried to get the, the selected and the, and the location they went to didn't have some things or they were slightly different. Oh, so. okay. Well, what the deal is... is and I hate to open them from the package until we review them, so... Well, what I will do, when you see the video, they won't be in this anyway. Right. Because I, um, I will take a picture of it like this when we're finished with this. Um, I will take a picture of it with the wrapping paper and then I will go ahead and open the wrapping paper picture. and get a picture. Yeah. I'll get a picture of the box, how it's packaged, all that stuff. So when you see it, uh, normally the C's box, it's a white box. It says C's in, in a black writing. Um, it'll start from there. But just know when you get it, they will gift wrap and it's mm -hmm. it's very, very nice. And like you this. face um, by the size box of how many pieces you want. Oh, yeah. cool. Um, um, it, it says there's a milk chocolate apple caramel. This, that's this. Okay, that's in the clear wrapper. Right? Yes, and then the chocolate coffee beans. Milk are raisin, um, cafe, haz cafe hazelnut truffle, and then a toffeette. And that's all she has circled. So we'll see. And it looks like they've updated their sheet to, they have added to their sheet the words spring, yeah. summer, fall, and winter. So they have, there's telling you what their limited time sweets are for that time of year. Let me tell you something. If you've never had C's, it's absolutely terrific chocolates, 
candies. Um, they usually come to the mall. Like um, if you have a big mall in your area, sometimes they'll set up a store or mm -hmm. a kiosk. They used to be in uh, Macy's too at one time, but. Yeah, they would sell boxes. But I don't know if they still do. Yeah, they would. They had a section where mm -hmm. they would sell like uh, boxes of chocolates and stuff. It's phenomenal, and uh, they. And that was at Christmas. Summer, they're too. suckers. We yeah. love. Their, their suckers are good. They're just too big and square. They're big they're and good. square, but they're oh, they're so the, the delicious. The flavor's good. Okay. I wish they would make them in. Well, I think they do make little like toffee type pieces. Small don't they? Ones. Oh, they're wonderful. So this is a Reese's Big Cup with pretzels, and it's funny she sent this because. Kevin bought uh, at the store. Kevin had bought Reese's Big Cups, and I thought, I wish he'd bought the kind of the They didn't pretzels. have the big ones in a multi pack. You had to buy them separate, separate like this? Like. Because I love well, There you go. Love, There's your one. At least. Love, love. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Ooh, McVinnie's. V I B's. Classic Caramel Bliss. Caramel and Milk Chocolate Digestives. And luscious blood orange, caramel and milk chocolate digestives with blood orange. I'm surprised we haven't tried those. Um, we've tried a caramel. We may have tried a orange, but I don't think we've had blood oh, orange. Yeah, that's what I No. How cool, B-I-B's. You all have to tell me if you've seen those in the United Kingdom. Very important biscuits. Um, this is Sprouts Farmer's Market, which we do not have around us. Organic and gluten-free nut butter banana granola. It sounds wonderful. Nut butter banana. I was trying to see. Um, it has almonds. Almond butter. That's what I was wondering. Almond butter. What kind of butter is it? Yeah. This is the bare naked peanut butter toffee crunch. Exactly. Can't wait to try that. And then, let's see. Goodness. This is a Kit Kat Gold. Caramelize your break. Kit Kat Gold. This is four crispy wafer fingers covered with caramel flavor, white, and milk chocolate. Uh, yeah. And then this is a Ritter Sport waffle. It's amazing how many Ritter Sports they have. Oh, wow. And then this is a Godiva signature. This is new. Almond and honey in milk chocolate. So we had tried some of these Godiva bars. One was like a dark blue and one was like a baby blue. And we found them in Walgreens. I have not seen this one though at all. Last two. Okay, and then this. Uh, I'm so glad she sent these. I have actually been looking for these. They make several different packages of these. These are the Wel Welch's Juicefuls. And uh, this is the mixed fruit, which the mixed fruit package might cover all the flavors anyway. I know they came out with um, uh, several different uh, packages of them, but it looks like this probably has all the flavors in this one package. So I'm glad you found me, Sarah, because I have not, I still have not seen them around here. And then this is the Trolley Slurpee Cherry Cola and Blue Raspberry. I wonder if that was a 7-Eleven thing. It doesn't say 7-Eleven, but it might have been. It might have been, and she might have said, did you read any I, of this? I, I read through it. I didn't see anything mentioned about this. It was mostly about the chocolate. Um, let's see. No, she just was saying about C's. They were closed for a long period during the pandemic. She said, um, uh, okay, and then she's talking about the seeds. Okay, so she doesn't say where these came from, so I don't know, but I have not seen them around right here. So thank you so, so much, uh, Sarah and Jennifer. Thank you for these. Uh, these will be fun to make. Uh, but Sarah, thank you for, for going to seeds. We appreciate it. I hope when you and your family went, I hope you all bought yourself some good stuff too. I'm sure you did, but thank you for sending these as well, just so that I can enjoy them because I love, love, love these bars. So these two puzzles in last week's... <laughs> Here, hold on. <laughs> hold on, Kevin's gonna turn on a light. Da -da -da. Bright light. Uh, Kevin uh, received these uh, 3D puzzles. One's a 3D puzzle, one's a crystal puzzle from Malcolm for his birthday in last week's vlog. So if you watched the vlog, you would have seen the box opening. So Kevin is going to sit here. Which one do you think you'll put together first? Uh, probably him because I think it's a little easier. The little, the little uh, 
the soldier guy. Yeah, so he's going to put him together first. Why don't you open it up and we'll see what it looks uh, the like. The reason I'm not, I would, I would do it like a Middle Earth, but Middle Earth takes a little more um, time and concentration. Yeah. These will be a little more straightforward. Yeah, because he's he's had some, uh, he has some Middle Earth that he's had for a little while, but these have fewer pieces too. Yeah. And so if he wants to sit here and put something together quickly, yeah. then this is good for quick. So... It's nothing against, like, him putting one person's, or he likes one person's right. more than the other. Yeah. Now, <laughs> he this would, is just something I don't have to think about. I can just sit here and put it together. Right. He doesn't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but, I mean, he will get to the... Ooh, I love these puzzles from Malcolm. Yeah, they're numbered. And yes, I love the ones that are numbered. So, they come together really quick. These are and actually fun. curved. Yeah, they're Whereas, curved. we've had pieces that were... Like you had to bend them to get the angles and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that will be a lot of fun because yeah. I love putting the numbers together and stuff like that on those puzzles. I like that shoe too. Uh, yeah, the shoe is really cool. So so Malcolm has sent us Buckingham Palace and Tower Bridge. Do we have a Tower Bridge? Not that Tower Bridge. Do we have that Tower Bridge? We have. We have a Tower Bridge. I don't we, know if it's that one. It, I don't think it's one of these. Well, it might be. Uh, mm, but that doesn't look familiar. No, you're right. We don't have that one. It was a different puzzle. Yeah. It was a different puzzle. But we do okay. have the London one. But we do have the, the London bus. bus. Yeah. This is the Tower Bridge I was thinking of. It was this foam puzzle. And this is what I was thinking of. So we don't have the Tower Bridge and those, um, those other puzzles. But we do have, here's Buckingham Palace. And this is one that's not even on there. This one had numbers on the back. And that is Elizabeth Tower. And that one isn't even on that piece of paper that Kevin has. And then here is the, the bus, the London bus. Kevin just finished his little soldier and it's so cute. He looks like a weeble wobble or a little pill. It, you know what it reminds me of is a nesting egg. Yeah. Where yeah. It, it uh, looks like one of the um, nesting eggs where you would open it up and you would see a smaller one on the inside, uh, which would be cute if they had a set of these. It would be neat if they had a set with like the queen and um, then some soldiers. Um, but I like that. That is a very, very cute. And it's it's pretty sturdy too. Yeah. So now you're gonna start on the London bus. Yeah, that one looks a little different. Do, doesn't the pieces when we did the box opening? I said those pieces. <coughs> it looks like Blockus, the game Blockus, the yeah, color. You have to go by the shapes. So I don't know if they're numbered at all. So we'll see. No, that one might be more difficult. Yeah. So, did you figure out how it goes together? Yeah, it's stacked. So you start at the bottom, and you're like, you you start at the bottom, and you're working your way up. I thought it was going to be like an outside ring, and it was going to be hollow in the middle. Instead, it's a solid. It's a solid. It's going to be a solid puzzle. Piece. Yeah. Yeah. So the next piece, you follow, you find the next piece in the picture, mm -hmm. and you figure out where it goes on the top. So they're in order, but you got to figure out which one, like that piece is number seven. I got to. I got all these. I got to figure, okay, which one is that one? Right. This is uh, stickers to put on it when you're finished. Yeah. So Kevin finished the puzzle, and it's heavy. It's a it's a heavy. It's solid yeah, I guy. mean, it's <laughs> like it it feels like it weighs about as much as like two matchbox cars, if you know uh, how heavy those are. And then he said these are extra stickers, so I might put like the flags on the top. That's what I thought too. Uh, because I think that would look really good, and then from the top you would see something. Um, so how hard was it, Kev? Um, it's. Once you get the pieces matched up, it's not too bad. You just got to make sure you don't skip any pieces. Right. <laughs> we went to the P.O. box today, and I went ahead and opened this box. It's a Target box because I did not know what it was. And it is, it's actually from Katie Joe. We did all those reviews of the Pepperidge Farm cookies, and there were only two cookies that escaped us. The, these were one of them the uh, strawberry cheesecake and these are the soft baked and we just do not get them in our area we still to this day even after you know i mean that's only been a little while ago that we reviewed them but we still look for these cookies and they are just not in our area so katie joe said hey have you ever tried those and i said well we can't find them so she 
ordered them and sent them to us. So thank you very, very much. And they sent us not one, but two. Uh, so I can't wait to try these. I think these, and there were some called like Naples. And I'm thinking the Naples only were out at Chris, or only come out at like Christmas. And um, I don't know. So anyway, thank you very, very much for sending these. And then, you have cookies on your mind, right? So now we have another box of cookies. These to Tammy and Kevin from Donna. Hope you enjoy these. They are from a shop that is in a city 30 miles from my town. Um, these are called Cookies and Dreams. It's www.idreamaboutcookies.com. And, um, it says uh, you warm these up in the microwave for 20 seconds and then top it with the icing glaze. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. We've never had any like this. I'm so I'm already having stuff on. Sprinkle cinnamon sugar on your cookie. Drizzle the cookie with caramel. Sweet dreams. Mm -hmm. One of them looks like caramel. One of them looks like icing. Oh, my God. Look how big they are. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. This is like a half and half. Is that this a slutty? Is, it's called slutty. <laughs> That's what I thought it said. <laughs> it's called a slutty cookie. It's called slutty. Um, half chocolate chip and half triple chocolate stuffed with creamy peanut butter and a full Oreo. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Look how big this is. And that's, you can see where it's stuffed too. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that one. And then this one is strawberry shortcake, uh, white chocolate chips, and filled with strawberry cream cheese. Oh my goodness. There's more descriptions on here. We will go through each and every one of these uh, out when we review them uh, and talk about them. Oh, this looks wonderful. Ooh, turtle, turtle. Uh, an ultimate soft, chewy chocolate cookie stuffed with pecans and caramel bits topped with melted chocolate caramel and drizzled with pecans or pecans. pecans. <laughs> that one's like this thick. We say, in our area, we say pecans. Just like caramel and caramel. caramel. Uh, we do not say caramel. We say caramel. Um, snickerdoodle cheesecake. Um, filled with... Cream cheese frosting and rolled in cinnamon sugar. Uh, this sounds wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, that's four. Oh, there's six. Okay. Like, this is huge. This is like cereal. Puppy child. Mm -hmm. Our signature OG chocolate chip cookie stuffed with peanut butter chips topped with melted chocolate and puppy child. And that is a very, very thick mm -hmm. cookie. What did it say it was stuffed? Peanut butter. Stuffed with peanut butter chips. It's huge. And then we have peanut butter. See, Donna knows that I like peanut butter. And so, like three of these have peanut butter. Peanut butter. If you love peanut butter, then this cookie is for you. Extra soft and extra peanut buttery, topped with a bit of granulated sugar and baked to perfection. It's a heavy cookie. Yes, it, it, these are all heavy. Yeah. Uh, so then uh, they Looks give you. Looks like a you, vanilla frosting and a caramel. You get a packet of sugar in there too. Oh, so I didn't the, see yeah, the sugar. The, see the oh, cinnamon, cinnamon sugar. sugar yeah. yeah, there's a cinnamon sugar packet, and uh, yeah. So I hope they tell you which cookie to top with what. Or you just do your own. Or you just do your own. I don't know. We'll do find out. Thing. I'm going to, I'll go to the website and take a look around and I'll see if they tell you what uh, topping goes better with which cookie. And I mean, peanut butter is good on its own. I mm, can't imagine needing either, anything. Yeah. Uh, thank you very, very, very much, Donna. And then we have one more package. Oh, how cool! This one's from McDonald's. This is from me. They actually. It's actually a McDonald's. Ashley would die. Ashley <laughs> would actually die. Mm -hmm. Ashley, absolutely. I don't know what those are. These are sauces. Sauce? Are they new sauces? Sweet chili Cajun. Uh, there's two Cajuns and a sweet chili. Mm. Um, let's see. Let's see what it says. Ooh, there's a gift card. 
One gift card. Hello. Um, get ready because the golden arches are about to shine even brighter thanks to a new collab with 21st Century Global Pop Icons BTS. This one-of-a-kind menu tour officially kicks off on May 26th in the U.S. when customers can enjoy the BTS meal at participating restaurants nationwide. The Superstar Band signature order includes a 10-piece chicken McNuggets medium, a uh, uh, 10-piece chicken McNuggets, medium world-famous fries, medium Coke, and for the first time ever in the U.S., sweet chili and Cajun dipping sauces inspired by popular recipes from McDonald's South Korea. Mm. The band has great memories with McDonald's. We're excited about this collaboration and can't wait to share the BTS meal with the world, says um, right. I mean, by? B -I Big Hit. Big Hit. Big Hit. <laughs> it was hard to read. When, when they show different words together, you don't know what it's to right. say. It's written funny. It's Big Hit music label of BTS. Since 2013, BTS has topped charts and brought people together from all over the world through their music and positive messages. Following the successful launch of McDonald's Celebrity Signature Orders program last year, BTS is the latest icon to have their signature menu mm -hmm. items featured at participating restaurants. However, they'll be the first celebs to share their order with customers worldwide. That's right. For the first time since McDonald's launched Celebrity signature orders the BTS mail will be available globally in nearly 50 countries BTS truly lights up the world stage uniting people across the globe through their music um, You know, it's interesting most of the celebrity meals is just a meal like right. a double cheeseburger and so, a whatever with barbecue sauce Kevin, or whatever. For his lunchtime review channel. He goes out to eat once a week as many of you know Thank you for watching his channel if you do um, so last year when they, when they started this, he was like inundated with requests to, it was a man's name who I did not recognize. I think it was a country music singer. Now, see, I thought it was some rapper. Or maybe it was a rapper. I thought it was a rapper. Maybe it was a rapper. I, I don't know. Truly, They've done a couple. I did not recognize the name at all, uh, because I don't listen to that music. And so, but it was right at the beginning of the pandemic and people were asking Kevin to go out to eat. Kevin wasn't eating out. So Kevin missed that meal. Uh, but it was just, it, it, was, just right. it was regular menu items. Like so this, this one. has an actual sauce to it. Yeah. So this is the, so we'll go to McDonald's and get the 10 piece chicken McNugget meal with a medium fries and a medium Coke. And we will get to try the sweet, uh, sweet chili and the Cajun sauces with it. Um, get it delivered to you. Oh, for Uber, Uber Eats. We've never done that before. Um, so that's just talking about you're invited to share your meal on, um, your meal with us. This is a paper, which, um, notepads. Uh, notepads, which I use all the time. I will use those definitely. This is a gift card. It does not tell how much is on the gift card, but I'm assuming it's enough to cover this meal. And this, Ashley, I'm telling you, Ashley's going to be so jealous, but she's not getting this because we will leave this in the car. Hmm? Because this, uh, they should, honestly, they should sell these everywhere to keep in your car. Um, They're at McDonald's. Yeah. Every fast food restaurant should sell these. And then you could keep it in your car. You know, if your favorite restaurant's McDonald's, you could buy one from McDonald's and keep it and then eat, uh, pull this out and then have it nice on your life. It's good for the passenger. For me, I like it, the steering wheel one. Kevin, I but, yes. Kevin's goes on, his um, is shaped to clip on his steering wheel. It's perfect. But now this will be perfect for me. Yeah, passenger. Um, I will really enjoy this. And then you know what too? If you need to write write a note, jot something down. If you if I want to be sitting over here working on my grocery list while Kevin's driving, that's nice to lean on. So um, I really appreciate that. But yes, we will uh, we will go to McDonald's and we will try the. What is today's date? Is today the twenty sixth? You ought to hit it on my phone. <laughs> I don't know. You know when you're when you're working from home. You know. Twenty seven. Oh, so this started yesterday. Because it says it kicks off on May 26th. Oh, so, just so it started yesterday. I haven't seen ads for it yet. 
That's weird. I haven't either because usually like uh, well, we watch a lot of YouTube. But I watch a lot of Twitch though, and there's ads all the time on Twitch. That's true. You would have think you would have saw, saw seen it on Twitch, but maybe because you don't watch music channels on could Twitch. Be. Or could could be. I or McDonald's maybe watch, doesn't sign up with Twitch. I don't know. Yeah, I bet if you watch people sing and stuff like that on Twitch, which you can, there's all kinds of stuff on Twitch. Um, I'm sure people have seen these. Uh, so. We'll be trying this soon then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll try the, the nuggets. Um, Ashley's gonna be so jealous. She loves McDonald's, loves nuggets, all of this. So this will be very fun for us. But thank you, thank you uh, everybody. Uh, Katie Joe, and Donna, thank you very much for the cookies.